So let's have a look up here. I've just um, I've done the ceiling in the kitchen. So this is the next job I have to do. Nice sheen on there. Proper kind of uh, mold resistant, grease resistant. So that's been nicely done throughout the whole kitchen on the coving, of course, into the wet room. You can see a lovely sheen now all the way along. So that's looking really good now. Much happier with that. This was the last ceiling to do. So at least that's been done now. Um, I've done the back wall, just a very small piece there. I'd missed that due to, well, let me show you the horrors. Oh man, look at this. This is literally sticky grease. I mean, it's on the lip here. Um, it's absolutely horrendous. You know, that is disgusting. As soon as you put your finger on it, you get stuck. So that's all the way down there. Um, another little horror. Well, what I'm doing, as you can see, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna paint over the top of it. I'm not even gonna bother cleaning because the amount of water and detergents we would need. Uh, I'm just gonna paint over the top. It's not gonna be a great job, but it's hidden, so who cares? But look at this, oh, what a mess. This is the extractor fan power. Oh, that's supposed to be, well, for, it's supposed to be sealed for one. It's not the best place to put it, right above where the outlet is. This is unfortunately a uh, recirculation mode fan, so it doesn't vent outside, unfortunately. That will happen when we do a kitchen refit. We'll stick it over on that wall and we'll be able to vent straight out. But yeah, look at this, I mean, you can see mains wire coming in, it's going in, which is actually okay inside, fine, but it's all left open to the grease, so it's absolutely covered. I need to strip all this out, strip the wiring back. I'm gonna relocate, relocate the plug over here somewhere out of the way of the vent. But you can see they've even just got chocolate block down there, just linking to the fan, main feed in, so. That's shoddy. I hadn't noticed that before. I've you know, not really come up here, but. So I'm gonna finish painting this. I'm using up old paint, so I don't care. It's just paint that uh, is left over. It's got a bit rank, but it's uh, it's okay. It's magnolia as well, but there we go. Does the job. Um, filled some more holes, and I'm gonna put some chippings on the kitchen roof before I finish today. So things are still going on. Uh, all good. Shed update. I haven't done a shed update. Um, two halves of this shed. Got the kind of business side here. Where you do all your workshop bits. And then you've got this weird kind of insulated office -y type bit. So they've kind of made a bit of an effort to insulate this from the cold. And we've even got proper lights, office lights in here. Uh, I have no idea what that was. Possibly an alarm. Another type of sensor smoke or maybe infrared who knows office lights so that's what this is supposed to be but as you can see it's pretty damp we've got damp patches everywhere so it's pretty mank really um this bit not so bad because air can get around but slight issue with water leakage so the floor's kind of started to rot here and here as well oh look at our old boiler um, but the reason is this little wall here now from what I understand it should have been a continuation of this chipboard stuff here coming right across but that's been pulled away and there's a lot of evidence of water getting in in the fact you can even see it um, now it was streaming in here from just below where I've got all this black mastic uh, which I've attempted to seal yeah, it's probably like a sealant and it was streaming down the wall here and the reason for that was well basically the gutter had come adrift but the reason for the gutter was you can't quite see it but there's a lovely weed here it's a buddleia now it's kind of grown through the wall and started to push all of the bricks apart so as you can see we've got water streaming in through the root structure feeding it unfortunately um i can't really get in there very well i think i can see actually the buddly itself just back there um so yeah so i've i mean i've tried to seal it i've put the guttering back 
which has fixed this leak because it was leaking from here coming streaming down the wall here there's even some old roots here which they've tried to cut look so that is now at least fine this is dry but we've still got very wet roots and it's leaking down to here and of course that's going into the behind the breeze box and into the floor and of course then it's just floating around under here and rotting the wood so it's probably been like this for years it's a shame because it's quite a nice shed really it's got a fairly decent roof on it and again more evidence of bizarre electronics going on here and we've got the master fuse panel down here breaker switches in a vain attempt to make it safe and um, wires going up there to the main switch uh, we've got emergency lighting and then i mean i don't even want to begin to look up here i mean i found pcs up here um so there was lots of pcs and scanners and stuff but i need to try and get up here at some point and uh, you can even see daylight, daylight through there which is not very good is it but i need to try and strip out some of this wiring i mean some of this is just just you know redundant it needs to be tidied up made safe because as we know the wiring here is well it leaves a lot to be desired <laughs> But it comes through here, we've got a random extension socket here, one hanging off the wall, just down the bottom there, a weird plug hidden away, and then we've got a plug coming on here, you can see it's kind of like a type of ring main, goes like cross, and then this wiring here must have carried on that way, but because the wall's been taken down, I've had to just string it up and make it you know, as safe as I can out of the way. This all needs tidying, it needs snipping back. There's no point for any of that being there, really. I don't need that many plugs in here, it's ridiculous. I mean, how many tools do you want to run simultaneously? At least it's got lighting, albeit, you know, it's a bit loosey loosey. Um, you can just see it's, it's all over the place. There's another wire here, there's a rose ish connection there. It's all very airy, airy tape, as your father. So yeah, this is a big project, this one. I need to get that bud layer out. I mean, it's a huge root and it's growing through the brickwork. I don't know where it started. They must have uh, built this shed on top of it or something and it's just grown and grown and grown. Found daylight, broke its way through and off it goes. And then once that's done and this is watertight, then kind of bring it back to having a piece of wood here, I suppose. But integrity, as you can see there, look, it's compromised. We've got the break there as the I guess they've tried to pull out the root from the inside but it's still there and it's still growing Budley is being Budley is they're very hardy so I've painted it I've kind of used stump killer on it tree killer weed killer the lot on it uh, vinegar I will have to go and see that again and try and drill that out as best I can really and then seal the brickwork because once the brickwork is sealed, I can then put the guttering back. And once the guttering is back and straight, that should then be it. But uh, all I've really done in here is put up a couple of shelves there. Because they were just lying about. So I'll have them back. Thank you very much. Put them up. Um, just a bit of a tidy. But uh, yeah, there's still bits to do. But that is shed. So just just realised I hadn't done a shed update. Uh, I've got great pride in hanging up stuff. <laughs> Because there's thousands of nails sticking out of the wall, so I thought to hang some bits and pieces up. It makes it, you know, it looks a bit better. Um, so there we are. That's probably going to be a project for the summer, I think. When it's a bit nicer and dry, I can, you know, make holes in the wall, so it doesn't matter too much. But while it's still kind of spring, it's still prone to rain, hence all of this. So we don't really want this to be an open, uh, well, I suppose it can't get much worse, but we don't want gaping holes here to make it worse so uh, there we go that is next big project it's like a little waterfall water feature I mean I don't know what they've done behind here it looks like they've just got like a just a piece of wood there actually just to give you a bit of insulation and um, maybe I can get some tools in there and start pulling all this out when it's drier that might be a good option but yeah that's definitely the budlier there the little swine it's sandwiched between, mm, it's a piece of glass there, I'll have to be watching that actually. Yeah, lovely, what's glass doing there? Okay, so no hands in there then, there's a nice piece of broken glass. Uh, I have to do it from the outside and hope it just, you know, dies off. Otherwise, you know, where do you end? 
maybe pull the wall down. But it's the Budley is in there somewhere behind this wall. So that should be exciting. End of shed. That's seven minutes. Oh. Bye bye for now.